This story stopped me in my tracks. So welcome back to Irene the Educator. And the title of this one is Washington Hospital Has Beds Oozing Body Fluids. Shout out to the Washington State Nurses Association for bringing attention to this matter. My child was born many, many moons ago. But the thought of sitting on someone else's body fluids is gross. So watch this video, like, share, and subscribe, and also leave comments. Thank you. Videos, and let me tell you, it is one thing to hear about oozing mattresses. It's a whole other thing to see them. And we do have to warn you, what you're about to watch is graphic. Imagine lying on a hospital bed with this happening. In videos provided by the Washington State Nurses Association, you see a napkin picking up what appears to be bloody fluid seeping from a patched up mattress. This can certainly be a biohazard to patients and to healthcare workers because blood and body fluids can carry illnesses um, that can be passed on. Sicknesses that can range from minor to major. Ruth Schubert with the Washington State Nurses Association says, micro tears and mattresses were absorbing bodily fluids of previous patients and still being used in labor and delivery. She says the union was alerted to the problem two months ago and that the patching was part of St. Joseph's response to the discovery. The patching material apparently wasn't applied correctly because it rolled up around the edges and there was still body fluids and blood seeping up through between the patches. We obtained this complaint to the DOH. It says St. Joseph's was notified of the problem in early September and more compromised beds were found throughout the month. We reached out to the DOH and they told us they would look into our request. In a statement from St. Joseph's Medical Center, they say compromised beds are immediately taken out of commission and are not used for patient care. What St. Joe's said may be their ideal, but it's certainly not what happened here. It took two months to get this problem resolved and that's just too long. The hospital told us there's been a backlog in ordering new mattresses. Schubert says supply chain issues aren't enough of an answer. And since these oozing mattresses weren't found through routine maintenance, Schubert says there needs to be a better system for identifying these problems. Ultimately, it is, up to the, it is the responsibility of the hospital to maintain a safe environment for their patients and for their healthcare workers. And this wasn't resolved quickly enough. The next time you're in a hospital, the Nurses Association suggests you might want to take a Kleenex and pat down that hospital bed. If you experience this, I would advise them to contact the nurse and ask that it be removed and that they are placed in a different bed. We'll be posting the complaint and St. Joseph Medical Center's full statement on fox13seattle.com. If you have given birth in the labor and delivery unit or been in it and experienced any of these soiled mattresses, feel free to reach out to me at mia.wong at fox.com. For now, live in Tacoma, Nia Wong, Fox 13 News. Nia, thank you.